Hello, um, Helen Evans. I'm from Triuva, a German uh, investment management company uh, with assets throughout Europe. And we are currently looking at our sustainability strategy. Is the question for Clements, you talked about the process that you go through or that you build into your acquisition with the certification of Bremen use afterwards. And I wondered if you had any idea per square meter how much uh, this process um, costs you. Certification is, is not the goal for us by itself. We use it as a starting point. Um, I, I, you know, we, we, we I think, uh, yeah. Um, let me find out, uh, let's talk after and then I can get you an idea and um, maybe. Yeah, so <laughs> w w one of the things that we do on a regular basis is we go back to some of our existing buildings and look at what technology was applied, what processes were applied, what was the extra capital cost and what was the ROI? What's the payback of that investment? So if, if you give me your card afterwards, I can send you some reports we've produced, which starts to look at um, if you're pushing the envelope in terms of sustainability, what are those return on investments? What, where do you see them? Um, and actually, some of that work is independently done, and I can, I can easily share that with you. We tend to use, well, we have a number of colleagues within the Redefco organization who are uh, BREAM experts themselves, have gone through the training. So they can do a desk-based uh, um, BREAM audit themselves. Um, but obviously you have to have, uh, if you want to get a certification, then you have to go with a, a, a third-party assessor. Um, you know, I think country by country, the, the costs are a little bit different. But, you know, for a, uh, a certification of an existing asset, you're probably talking uh, a couple of thousand euros. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's money. But again, if it's the starting point for like doing much more, it, it, it disappears in the wash. And um, in the end, the way we talk to our investors about it, and it's nice to see that uh, Thais also is pushing his investment managers to, to, to do this. Um, as long as you can have a good conversation about the financial returns that you're expecting to deliver, and you can incorporate um, in your asset business plans some specific measures to improve on a number of these different BREAM uh, points, Typically, the investors will be like, that's okay. You know, that, whatever, half a basis point, uh, one base point, uh, uh, two base points. You know, you can have that conversation. And it's starting to come more and more. Uh, it's true. And I think what, what uh, the BREAM certification provides for us, we recently done a retail portfolio in Germany with Rockspring and, and Prime. And it provides not only for uh, the first management, measurement, but also a, a lot of uh, uh, tools in order to make it to the next star, the next rating, so to improve the quality of the building. And I think that is especially for us as an end investor uh, very useful in order to understand, okay, where do we stand right now? What can we do within certain uh, limits? What do we want to do? Uh, and what does it cost us? And uh, what would be the next step? So it's, it, it's a very uh, efficient and uh, um, a pragmatic uh, tool in order to improve the sustainability of your asset.